Hello guys, we're back to the latest Desperation Tax by, Di by Disney. So if you don't know, Disney has had no successful movies this year. And uh, yeah, Hamilton does not count as a movie, it's a play. So yeah, Hamilton barely counts as a movie. So Disney is now to reorganize their entire business around Disney+. Plus. I talked about it a bit yesterday about Soul, about Europe being mad about Soul. Not being in the feeders in Europe, because Disney Plus released in basically most of Europe, probably besides a few smaller territories. But Disney sales are nearly 5% up because that's the only thing that is keeping Disney alive is Disney Plus. The only thing that is keeping Disney from going bankrupt is literally just a crappy streaming service that isn't even that great. And it's funny how every time I, most people tell me they're watching Netflix, they never say Disney Plus, so... I don't know who is watching Disney Plus. Obviously, the Disney fanboys are the only people who are keeping Disney Plus alive. Are the Disney fanboys who will buy anything of Disney's logo on it. But the company is basing massive investor project, you know, project in festival and streaming. It's only good performing sector right now because all of its other sectors are having massive layoffs. Like movies, parks, and cable are being heavily impacted by the virus. The company will reorganize its, you know, structure to be around Disney Plus, Hulu, and SBN, as well as legacy TV networks. The new media and entertainment distribution group, led by Kellum Daniel, formerly the president of Disney's Consumer Project, and we only, and yeah, the free there will be free groups that produce linear TV and film will be World Studio Entertainment and Sports. We of these groups will be as Daniel and report. Directly to Bob Sabak, CEO of Disney. Studios will be led by Aaron Halfhorn, Howard Bergman, and Selman of Walt Disney Studios. They will, the new titles will be Selman Studios content. And General Entertainment will be led by Walter Weiss, who came to Disney through his accusation of Century Fox in 2019. Its new title will be Selman SBN Entertainment content. Sports will be, of course, made by SBN president. And continue pointing stuff for SBN, ESPN as well. And between the lines, between the announcement, with the announcement, Disney says that its parks and resorts division will remain the same, and the streaming international division will be led by Rebecca Campo, who will serve as chairman. The big fix of prior to the pandemic, Disney's business was soaring as a company, as Disney practically had a monopoly over film. Maybe if Disney won't be releasing movies in theaters, maybe it'll prove, uh, maybe it'll show that, and maybe it'll show the people that movies are not just Disney got, or that's not the same five Disney remakes that they keep giving us, same Marvel movies, and same Star Wars movies, and keep those fools here. And yes, the company recently, you know, laid off 28,000 people in the theme parks and experiences, consumer projects, as well as the crowd closes in California. The so blockbuster movie, uh, of course, Mulan was a big flop. Nobody watched it. It was a big failure because it was complete garbage. Mulan estimated watched a hundred million dollars, and yeah, and Soul is also because they don't want to. They don't want to ruin Pixar's schedule. They had to put, you know, Soul. I think the reason why they put. I still think the reason why they put Soul on there was because of this and because they didn't want to ruin Pixar's schedule. They don't want to delay Pixar's movies. At all because they know they don't they don't want they don't want to ruin what Pixar was making because you know because you know if it continues rain soul it will con it will basically you know eat into the development of other Pixar movies that's basically what it will do and I don't think Disney wants to do that with Pixar like they're doing it with Marvel Marvel does just delay the whole thing and I don't think Pixar doesn't want to delay I don't think Disney does wants to delay any future Pixar movies so again this is bad for physical media and all that stuff but again i think this is just another desperation task being out of disney the fact that disney is completely losing everything you know they lost millions of dollars you know they lost billions of dollars you know muan was a big flop they don't want to tell you that because they they don't want to admit that muan was a big flop that no that was a big failure that's why they're putting so up for free because they know muan was a big failure they, and Another mysterious thing, the other thing is that Marvel and Star Wars was not mentioned at all. Marvel and Star Wars was not mentioned at all. There was support. There was this December tenth meeting that other people were saying that was coming around as well, 
And yeah, they'll probably stuff about Marvel and Star Wars. They'll probably keep Marvel in feeders because they know Marvel will make money in feeders. But older garbage, like, you know, the older garbage remakes will thankfully be out of feeders because I don't, I don't want to see, you know, you know, movie, other movie companies having to walk around whatever garbage remake that Disney is putting in feeders. I don't want people... For example, a lot of movies around where the Lion King remake came around flopped except for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood because Once Upon a Time in Hollywood actually was advertising the movie and stuff unlike all the other movies where they were trying to, you know, stay away from the Lion King remake as much as possible or releasing or, or be that some, some random indie movie that would basically bomb because Disney would put out the garbage remakes you know, basically, the 2020 box office entirely revolved around Disney's release schedule. And maybe hot, the other companies can will finally get to put out what they don't have to revolve themselves around Disney's schedule of 2021 and 2022 and onward. It would be good for independent movie companies as well that don't have to worry about Disney's monopoly, practically mon, practical monopoly over movies as a whole. So... Disney is just dying, okay? There will be a, lots of other companies do still care about physical media. So only Disney. And once con uh, and, I, and I won't be surprised once Disney is missing out the Chinese money, because Disney Plus probably will not be released in China anytime soon. Once Disney realizes that they can't make money in China anymore, I bet they'll turn way right back around and release some movies and fears again. Because they'll see, oh, Fast and Furious is making tons of money in China, you know. Which is one of the biggest franchises in China. And Chinese box office is actually back to what it used to be. Actually with the highest grossing movie of the year now being a Chinese movie. Because it made $450 million at the box office. Disney's not going to want to miss out on the Chinese box office. And they're going to at least release movies there. You know. And expect more movies to be censored for China as well. And yeah that's basically it about this video. Disney is in desperation mode. Goodbye.